This message is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This is a general reading. You may want to check out your moon or your rising if it's not resonating as your sun sign. This message has been very emotional, and I hope you guys are okay. Oh my gosh, the first card that I got was the Angel of Miracles. Open your heart and expect a miracle. So, this is a lot about noticing synchronicities in your life and having this, your spirit guides with you during challenging times and that they are going to pretty much bring a really positive outcome. So you just need to stay positive with any hardships that you're going through right now. The past card I got was the Four of Pentacles and the Devil in Reverse. This would tell me that you're holding on really tight, really, really tight to most likely because you also got the lovers in here, a toxic relationship or somebody that was in your past that was very toxic for you. You're holding on to that way too tight. Something is taking over you and you don't know why and whoever the, whatever the situation was, it didn't let you communicate. It didn't let you follow your passions. It didn't let you do anything. You were completely blocked. You couldn't flourish with this. I don't know if this is an addiction or a person, but you were holding on tight to it. And it's not letting you let go at all. Um, there was a lot of deception involved with this. A lot of sneakiness behind your back. Um, and it really hurt you but for some reason you held on to it really tight um, and you always had to be constantly prepared for something you constantly had to be prepared for anything anything to happen which is not always healthy in the present it looks like there is an offering that is coming to you and maybe it took a while to be offered to you it was very slow it took a lot of time but it's time to make a big judgment call on this and I don't know if it has to do with with that, but it's a big judgment call you need to make. Um, it possibly this offering you feel like is going to bring you a lot of rest mentally. It's going to bring you a lot of peace of mind and things are okay and things are good. Um, but the judgment call is pretty much saying you may need to make uh, think about if you need to move on so you can, maybe that actually gives you your mental rest. Or if you need to stick around and that gives you your mental rest. I think in your gut, you know the truth. I think there's a lot of knowledge inside of you. You know that there is something off, something not right. I got the lovers in reverse and the page of swords in reverse in your obstacles position. I think you're really choosing between either two people, two paths, two life paths, uh, a decision is what I'm getting from this. And it could be with a lover. Um, it, it Something is not delivering you the truth that you need. And you're having, for some reason, I don't know if you're, if this past like kept you in this mindset, but you're having a really hard time abandoning it. You don't really want to let go still. You don't want to let go. Um, and there's a lot, you're having issues with a lot of conflict and fighting and there's more deception. So there's something really wrong going on right now. And you, it wants you to make a judgment call. You're not letting the cycle close. You're keeping it open. You want to stay in this for some reason. But... What I'm getting for your help is you working really hard on accomplishing things that you didn't think you could accomplish. Hopes and dreams, work, um, focusing on that and investing your time in that. Um, definitely letting things grow inside of you and change because you're, you're having a really hard time with change. And I think it has to do with this uh, some sort of shocking news or shocking event or some realization you're having inside of you and you're like oh I should have done it this way or I should have did it this way that's what I keep hearing from this um, you got to let the wheel turn and let things change because right now you're kind of stuck I feel like you're kind of stuck in this disaster mode like you're wanting this but 
it's time, I think, it's telling you to just kind of be alone and look inside. Look inside and see what's going on. Why am I wanting this? Why am I needing this? Why am I making these decisions versus these decisions when I know what's right for me? So, the possible outcome, I got a couple different routes. I got, there's one route you can take, and you'll know. I think inside you will know which route is the better one for you, but one of the routes leads to a lot of sharp words inside or towards other people or them towards you. There's a lot of arguing and fighting and selfishness and taking and taking and taking. Um, and you really won't be able to speak um, and speak up very much, get a lot of clarity uh, because of things that are constantly being done behind your back or possibly you can't stop doing things behind someone else's back. I mean, it could go either way. Uh, it also brings a lot of confusion, but it wants to remind you that you're strong. So if even if you do choose this, you have enough strength to get through it either way. You've been through a lot. You've been through the ringer and you have enough in you to make it happen. Um, there's another path you can take. You can end all the pain, all the toxicity, all the bad behaviors, all the, all the situations that make you feel kind of horrible on the inside. You can end it, you have that decision, and you can start new. You know, I, there's a lot of new, new cards that come out with this path, you know? new home, new love, new everything. I mean, and it's a very successful path. It brings a lot of recognition of yourself, of your goals, of your love life, of your home life, your material items, your what fills your heart and what does what. It brings a lot of success to you. But it's a matter of what way you want to take things. Do you want to go this way? It seems like you're choosing between a rough route. But I think that your spirit guides have your back outcome will be beautiful either way it's just one route is rougher than the other so just keep that in mind it seems like there could be something um maybe somebody some friends and stuff that could help you reconcile reconciling with these getting back together with these friends or talking to somebody that's from your past that helps you that helped you more than you know you know um they're there for you through this as well to help you make those decisions. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and especially because, I don't know, there could be a male figure as well. It doesn't have to be a male. It could just be somebody that's really hardworking, somebody that is more patient and slow-paced, but they're there for you as well. Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, I mean... They're there for you, so keep that in mind too. They they want to help you and they want to provide for you and they want to be there for you and that could be who you want to kind of get back in contact with and reconcile with. Um, yeah, I mean, I think you're not seeing the long commitment that you could be having with friends or with yourself or with people, other people around you that could really help you through this and ease all your anxiety make it able so you're able to like speak up again and do things again that I don't think you're realizing that this could be very toxic for you but you have a choice you have a call to make and you know which way to do it you got the high priestess card in your present your intuition is nagging at you if you see synchronicity and numbers and stuff just like that angel miracles card that talks about synchronicity. So if you're starting to see that and you're thinking about something, pay attention to what you're thinking about when you start to see those numbers. Pay attention to what you're thinking about when you're you're seeing things that feel like a universal sign, like a random animal going in front of you. Pay attention to what it's saying and speaking to you. I think that'll help you make the better call. So the zodiac signs I'm seeing through this is Capricorn, I'm seeing also Cancer, I'm seeing um, Virgo as well, uh, Gemini is another one, a pretty big one, um, yeah, um, Sagittarius I keep hearing as well, yep, and yeah. Yeah, anyways, 
you got this, you know which decision to make, and you just follow your heart, open your heart, expect miracles to happen just like that card says. Okay, you have a good night.